Bonjour à tous. Um, I would like to give the presentation in French, but uh, it, did, uh, it has not chosen me as a language, so that's okay. <laughs> but um, all right, let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is me. Uh, if you want to email me, tweet at me, this is also the Twitter handle or, uh, or our website. So uh, I come from the world of uh, technology startups and data science, so if you have any uh, interest in that, definitely connect. All right, so today we're talking about MTL Data, uh, an organization that's been around for, uh, I guess, almost two years now. Um, and this is our mission, to connect nodes in the Montreal data community. support for all C people in seven different industries. Insurance, banking, credit card, market research, financial, asset allocation, global investment, <laughs> you name it. So I have had a chance to work with the That's very different students, <laughs> very different environment, teams, database, software. No? Okay. Okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay, so, yeah, this is our focus. Not that, whatever that was at all. Um, and and we, do, uh, we do this in a, a few ways. Uh, specifically, we started out with an event, uh, a meetup that was centered around data science. Um, but it's become a bit more than just that, and we're really focused on trying to build the community for data people in all ways, shapes, and forms, uh, and the many different members that exist within that community. Here's just some, a few quick photos. Uh, this is David, one of the organizers uh, at one of the uh, talks he was giving at Notman House. If you, do, if you guys don't know Notman House, we host a lot of our events there. It's a great space. Uh, this is another, this is a hackathon that we hosted. Uh, Nicholas from Datacratic is presenting uh, their MLDB uh, project. And uh, this is at Lagarde in uh, Mile End. Ari, this is Ari, one of our co-organizers. He's uh, participating in the hackathon. Um, he's, I don't know exactly what he's working on, but it's, it's something something technical. Um, and this is Alexi, one of the, I guess you could say members, um, but also uh, one of the, I guess, uh, CTO in the, in the startup community here who's working with Nexology, a uh, very data-focused company. But uh, this is the project they were working on. Uh, just a few examples of some of the people. So here we are. Uh, we have, after two years, this is, I put this chart together uh, two nights ago, and so this is new data to me as well. But um, the blue line there is just the, the growth and the active members, well, sorry, not active, total members over time. Green, uh, the green section there is, is active members. So those are people who have just basically participated in the last uh, 30 days in our, uh, on our website. And then this is at the bottom, the, the new members over time. So you can see it's been pretty uh, consistent about, I think it's on average uh, 80 members to 100 per month. Um, and actually this chart makes a lot of sense because this little, uh, this little section here, uh, let's see, right there. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, this little section right here um, was basically, we, leading up to the holidays, we didn't really host uh, any uh, activities for a while, so you can, it makes sense that people sort of dropped off. And then we hosted another event and, and people started uh, coming back and paying attention again. Ah, this is the, yeah, this is the live version. Uh, you can see that uh, that's the date, but I'll go back to this, to the presentation. All right, so just a quick, I guess, origin story for the, the meetup. Uh, first the meetup, but then I guess the overall community. And there's actually two people here today, at least two that uh, played a role in that uh, origin story. One is Toby here in the front, and another is Diane. Um, Diane was actually our first speaker at a Montreal Data event, and uh, that was uh, a great event. I think we got about 40, 40 people in, uh, in, at that event, and so it was the kickoff, I guess you could say. Uh, Toby was involved as a co-organizer, is involved as a co-organizer, and specifically the R user group, um, which is where this group really came from. So we were organized, I was actually organizer of the R user group for a while before Toby had moved to Montreal. Um, we were, I was working a lot with R at the time and then I started to, I guess, work with other languages as well as you 
have, as we've seen the trend in data science. So I started using things like uh, Python and just other tools that were needed for the job. And so we were trying to focus on how could we integrate some of those uh, interesting talks and, and learnings from those tools into a larger community. And so this is where uh, Montreal data came from. But we took a lot of inspiration from the existing community in Montreal, um, specifically Montreal R User Group and Montreal Python. They, uh, they do a lot of, uh, Montreal Python is a great community and, and obviously you know, using Python and R were the two main languages that we were focused on. So that's where a lot of our inspiration came from. But there's many other organizations within this community in Montreal. Um, and we've taken a lot of inspiration from those groups and one of which, I guess, and I'm going to really focus on the lessons learned here that, we, that we've come up with over the past two years of running our events. So first and foremost, and I, I know that uh, we're running a bit behind, so I'm going to try and go quickly so we can, uh, yeah, we can uh, speed up a little bit. But f I mean, obviously any, in anything you do, it, it takes a community of, this is a community of people, so it takes a community of people. So some of the organizers here uh, listed, Mathieu was one of my uh, colleagues at the time, and we were both Basically, we're the, we co-founded this organization together. Ari uh, was one of the people that I was working with as well, and he was a really, really uh, skilled data scientist, very interested in, in the community and getting involved. Um, Toby was involved through the R user group. Enshin was somebody that I met uh, through Montreal Python. David as well, I believe. Um, and Nicole was a, a colleague later on that came after. But based on this, like you can really see how the network effect starts to build. So these were people that I, I brought into the village and they're all uh, involved in some way, shape or form now. And then they've brought in people as well. Um, and back, I guess the next thing is, is uh, focusing on the edges. So uh, you know, typically when you start to host these events, um, you're trying to put together, I guess, really good content. And I find that this is often not the right focus to have. You're really f trying to create connections between people within the community. So we found that obviously free food and drink helps a lot. Um, <laughs> think, looking at things like how many people are staying afterwards to participate in the conversations and either joining us at the bar. Uh, we, we go, we've been frequently to Benelux, which is a, um, I guess, copying what uh, Montreal Python has been doing for many years to great effect. So this is something that we've paid a lot of attention to and in order to create those connections. The second thing, another uh, tribute to Montreal Python was the, and I guess today as well, a very uh, clear uh, inspiration, but um, the lightning talk. So not uh, focusing on one or two really great speakers per event, but trying to get more people involved in, and getting people to be less passive and more active and, and participating in the community. And it's also really great for conversation starters, right? You, you know now that somebody's working on uh, whatever it may be, and, and you now have something to talk to them about, and I think we can see it pretty clearly here during the, uh, the, the breaks, right? There's a, a flurry of conversation going on. So that was something that we've uh, tried to adopt very well, or focus on. Um, the other thing, this is, uh, this is actually a live little map of uh, the activity, uh, the hot spots in Montreal, you could say. Uh, we'll call it the uh, organic area. So we've tried, uh, different, many different locations where where we're uh, where we want to host the events, and I guess it's pretty obvious location is super important. And we've noticed that other meetups that have moved out of like like what we'll call the organic area here, where uh, the people are, have not really done so well, or they've uh, they've lost a lot of users as a result. So we've jumped around. The uh, Notman House is located, I believe, uh, yeah, Saint, Saint Laurent and uh, Sherbrooke, which I believe would be somewhere around here. Um, we've hosted events in Mile End as well, and then obviously downtown. So that's, uh, that's our focus area. Let's go to the next what slide. What are the events on the island? <laughs> What's that? Yeah. No, those aren't events. So those are, those are this is actually uh, Yelp data. Uh, check-ins, like historical check-ins over time. So this is somebody checking into the island, of course, right? So we just used this. This was actually a hackathon project uh, for the Yakathon that uh, we put together just to see where the activity was uh, within the city. But yeah, it's online. You can check it out if you're interested. If you want, uh, tweet at me the li for the link. Uh, yeah, and then I guess uh, experimenting. So. Last but not least, uh, this is the last key lesson that we've learned, but experiment. So 
We started out with what we thought might have been a good way to approach things, but uh, obviously integrating different ways and approaches is really important. So evolving from the meetup, focused on data science and trying to really broaden uh, and connect with the larger data community has is what we've tried to do over time and what we're focused on. So that, fo like basically that brought us to a, a collaboration with um, Open North and Jean Noé and Stéphane Guidouin who uh, worked with, uh, or I'm not sure if they were participating, but there was a, a club in, in uh, Ottawa that started around similar like a book club, but every month was a different data set. So we, we saw this idea and we really liked it a lot. So we brought it here to Montreal, uh, where basically every month it's just a different new data set. Uh, it's kind of like a crowdsourced community analysis. It's been a lot of fun. It's a, been a, it's a great way to get people involved and learning and, you know, you can pick a certain part of the analysis and uh, not, you know, and learn from people who are more advanced than you or, or, or whatever approach you want to take. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. Another one is data plus marketing. So this is something where we're trying to reach out to the business and marketing audience that is much more, um, less, I guess less technical, but, uh, but still very interested in data and data analysis techniques. So that's another thing that we just started recently. Uh, and then our next event actually is with, in collaboration with the Semantic Web User Group, Petco, one of the organizers of WW uh, W 2016, here is uh, the uh, co-organizer of Semantic Web User Group, and and we're basically doing an introduction to the Semantic Web. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, definitely uh, come check us out. So basically, that's it. Uh, thank you guys very much. Appreciated to be here. Uh, if you want to connect, those are the that's the info. We have a newsletter on MontrealData.com. If you're interested, it's monthly. We profile different people in the community. Uh, so if you're interested in that as well, or if you want to, uh, to come out and, and maybe even give uh, one of the talks that we've seen here today, if you're interested in, in sharing, uh, that would be great. But uh, that's it. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.